For more than 100 years, Christian Healthcare Center has been actively engaged in this community uh, to make a difference, uh, to foster health, healing, and wellness. Today, we provide senior living, short-term rehab, and mental health services, uh, far expanding from what those initial founders envisioned. But yet, these services are all delivered in the same Christian manner and with the same mission and vision that was established nearly 110 years ago. At Christian Healthcare Center, showing compassion, having an attitude of gratitude, and expressing kindness is so foundational to our mission and vision, um, our goals for those that we're serving. That's expressed very clearly in our commitment to person and family-centered care, the way in which we seek to reach all those that we serve in an individual way to maximize their quality of life and to engage with them throughout their daily activities. One of the innovative ways in which we're reaching many of our residents is through the use of companion pets. We have found these companion pets to be uh, very calming, uh, as at the same time also able to reach some of those residents that might be somewhat confused or distant. Uh, whether we have residents who are alert and oriented, or maybe uh, on, a, on a journey through with dementia, um, or perhaps they're socially isolated, we're finding that companion pets are a really unique way for us to reach them and to provide them uh, with an activity that's engaging to them and that they enjoy. We have also found that companion pets can help us to reduce the risk of falls. When we have a resident who may be sitting in a chair and has a sleeping cat or dog in their lap, they're not as likely to get up because they don't want to awaken that companion pet, the pet that they, they have now developed a connection with. Um, and interestingly, as an unintended but very positive consequence, is it's helped us to reduce the risk of falls. At Christian Healthcare Center, we provide so many different types of activities, exercise, aromatherapy, and interactive games, for example. We wanted to incorporate a new type of activity for our residents. We formerly had two pets, two cats, that lived here at Christian Healthcare Center, and unfortunately, we couldn't keep them any longer due to some allergies, so there was a little bit of a void because the residents were so used to having the cats with them every day. So a new concept came about in having pets that were not real, but felt real to the residents. So we did some research and we found that there are companion pets available for long-term care facilities that help assist the residents in providing comfort that a real animal could provide. So the companion pets that we adopted are very much lifelike, even though they are robotic pets. They, they run on batteries, but they're able to make noises like real cats and dogs, and they move, and the cats actually purr, which is really nice because the residents feel that they are real, and that is what provides so much comfort for our residents. We are finding that our residents that are not as responsive are given the opportunity to have the, the pet and all of a sudden they begin to smile. They begin to open up and talk to the pet as if it was real. They, they have those memories of when they had pets at a, at a different stage of their lives and they provide so much comfort to our residents. Interacting with companion pets can help with many physical and mental issues. It can also release endorphins that produce calming effects. This can help also alleviate pain, reduce anxiety, and, and promote overall psychological well-being for our residents. So it increases engagement, but it also decreases loneliness and depression, which is so important for our residents. We have several residents over on Heritage Manor East that we have found the companion pets have changed their lives. They were withdrawn, not really able to communicate so much, and exhibiting stress and anxiety. So we introduce the companion pet to the resident, and we often say, here are meet Jingle Bells. And the resident's face lights up, they automatically smile, and they reach out toward the pet. And we can tell at that moment, we've already won the resident's heart. Right now, we have seven cats and four dogs. And our goal is to 
expand the Companion Pet program so we can offer more of an opportunity for our residents to interact with the pets because we've seen how successful it has been. We have a resident on our Heritage Manor East unit that has dementia and he's often exit seeking, looking for his home. We have found at this time we are able to offer him one of our companion cats, which he especially loves. He immediately gravitates toward the cat. He starts to smile and pet the cat and no longer is looking for a way to exit. He's content where he is. Currently on campus, we have a family of 11 companion cats and dogs. Uh, they get along well with each other and also with our residents. We're looking forward to grow that family of companion pets. Your support will enable us to acquire these companion pets and then our clinical staff, our nursing and activity staff, will be able to use these companion pets in the therapeutic care that's being provided to our residents each and every day. They'll get to know um, for each particular resident what, type, what time of day, what type of pet, um, what, what type of interaction might be helpful for them and, and to be able to move this family of companion cats and dogs among our residents and to create a much larger sense of enjoyment among all those that we serve. Thank you for helping us to paint the town red uh, with compassion, with gratitude and kindness. Uh, you are an important part of our mission and vision to serve those entrusted to us. Um, and you are an important part of helping us to deliver that to those that we serve.